Ferguson. <laughs> 20 miles northeast of Huntsville. So, yay! If that's where they leave him, he's closer. If anyone has a loved one at the Ferguson unit, please be advised that your loved one is in grave danger. My son got checked by a bunch of guys and his eyes now messed up. The guards don't allow him to see the docs or the nurses. He has to use toilet water to wash his face. Whenever an offender hits a new unit, he needs to be able to walk in with his head held high. So I came into this unit with my head held high and my back straight. And anybody I saw in the hallway, if they made eye contact with me, I would make eye contact back. I would maintain it, but it's delicate because if you maintain it for too long, it becomes threatening. And I just made sure to present myself as somebody who wasn't a pushover because that's what everybody's looking for on any unit. It doesn't matter if it's a good unit or a bad unit. Everybody's sizing you up the moment you hit the unit. I was arrested for my crime when I was 13 years old. I will be 33 years old before I'm eligible for parole. It's like being raised by Orwell's big brother and Casey's nurse, Nurse Ratched being raised by them while living under a rock. You're always being watched. You're always being scrutinized, and not only being scrutinized, but expected to perform in certain ways. And there's punishment. And then it's like living under a rock because you're not out there experiencing things. I didn't ever get a driver's license or a first car. I didn't go to prom or even make it to high school. Never had a steady girlfriend. I've never been to parties. I've never been stupid and gotten drunk for that first time. Just all, I guess what you would call the snapshot moments. I missed a lot of snapshot moments. So you really just get passed by by life. Miss my family. I miss I miss the I miss the family that I had that, that I tore apart. And so not only am I I'm, am I missing it, um, there's guilt and remorse mixed in with that because not only I didn't do something stupid and get locked away, and that's why I'm missing my family. I did something that tore my family apart and took me away from them. And it's something that I can't fix, ever. And that's what I miss the most. Because I wouldn't mind being incarcerated, knowing that my mom and Ella were coming to visit me. Do you have a dad? 
yes, child. You have a father. Everybody has a father. Do you have a dad? No. Not everybody has a dad. I didn't have a dad. I turned out okay. Yeah, that's a whole different conversation. We'll finish that tomorrow.